Good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. It is Saturday, it is October 5th, and I want to share with you a quick update on the Bitcoin chart. So, yesterday I said that we had this bullish divergence here building on the hourly and the four hourly, and that we would likely expect a move higher towards the sixty-three or sixty-four thousand dollar level. Indeed, so far that has started to play out. We got the bounce here from about sixty thousand, and we went to sixty-two point three seventy-ish. So we are still watching this potential scenario play out here. We could still go a little bit higher, but at this point in time, this level is still resistance. Okay, so this level over here, this is a bit of a uh, like a final boss to get past before we can continue going higher. If we reject here, there is still this level over here, the Fib Golden Pocket that could still get taken out, which means uh, basically a drop here to somewhere between 57 and 56. Now going back to the CME chart, um, this is something I've shared before also, we still have a gap at 54,000. Does that gap get filled? Or does it not? As you can see here in the past, these gaps tend to get filled. It's not a requirement, of course, but just an observation here on the chart. Look what happens every time there's a gap. It gets filled sooner or later. Even this gap over here, um, it initially went higher first, but it came back down to fill it. right? So that, that's what it tends to do a lot. So we have this gap over here. And we, of course, have the same level that I just marked on the regular chart. Uh, this level over here. So you can see that we have actually broken uh, this short-term bullish trend, right? Where it was making higher highs and higher lows, we broke it. Okay, so what happened here? This is broken to the downside. And right now, we are still at the point where we are making lower highs in the very short term. Okay, this is an hourly chart. We're making lower highs here. So if we make another lower high here, at this level and get rejected, well then, uh, number one, we can say a potential target would be like I shared here, 58 to 56, um, potentially here sweeping these lows over here and dropping into the fib, uh, golden pocket. But we have this and if something happens, maybe there's some geopolitical tension that escalates or something else that happens, um, it is not impossible that we do fill this uh, 54 level, in which case that means that these are levels to watch for. Um, number one, this gives you a setup for a potential short here. If we do end up going into this level, potentially on the weekend, potentially on Monday, where we might be able to catch a short here, if that is going to be the case, obviously based on how things look at the time and based on the shorter term timeframes. This is the kind of stuff I'd share in my VIP Discord in real time. I can't do that ahead of time um, on a YouTube video, but I just wanna give you this idea. So this could be a potential short play over here. Then if that does happen and we get over here, then there's two options. Either uh, we might have a potential long um, over here to run it back up, but also, if that doesn't check out, and again, this depends on the charts, the low time frame charts at that point in time. If it gets here and it doesn't look like it's creating a bottom or a bullish divergence or something like that, an engulfing uh, candle pattern around about this level, then it's possible we also go lower. In which case, this would probably be the ultimate kind of swing low we'd want the stop to be a little bit below this low just to be safe. But again, we'd be looking at the lower time frame charts when it happens. And hopefully from that point onwards, we run it all the way back to 74,000 or higher. So if you are looking to trade and you want trade ideas and you want setups, this is personally how I'd be looking at the chart right now. And that gives us a potential short setup as well as a long setup later on. And of course, whatever Bitcoin does, the altcoins are likely to do also. So if Bitcoin does sell off over here, then we can expect altcoins to also sell off. So then you can use this analysis on Bitcoin and you can go and look at altcoin charts to find a similar type of setup. And that gives you a wide variety of setups, shorts across different altcoins, etc. You'd have to go and look at the charts. But basically overall, my short term analysis here for the next couple of days is something like this. And of course, um, we have to take it uh, basically an hour at a time here on these charts because if it does flip it somehow and it does end up being bullish, then of course we're not going to be taking this short 
but I would also not be taking long positions here on a weekend. The liquidity is lower. So let's see how the weekly closes. And this is the idea that I have in mind right now. If you're looking for a place to trade crypto leverage, try Blowfin Exchange. Use my link in the description down below. You can get up to $5,000 in sign up bonuses just by trading there. And I'm also regularly giving away prizes. Like currently, we're running a campaign. I'm giving away an iPhone 16 valued at $1,500. And we're giving away uh, $300 just to my referrals who are trading. And that's something that I will do more and more regularly. So currently, Blowfin Exchange is my favorite exchange to trade on. If you want to come join us there, trade Perpetual Futures, use the link in the description down below, create an account, deposit and start trading there. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. What are you expecting for Bitcoin and altcoins? Are you still expecting an October or do you think it's not as easy as that? Let us know in the comments, smash the like button. Be sure to follow for more goodies. Have an awesome weekend and I'll see you in the next video.